Well hello everyone and welcome back to Lee Reader. My name is Lee and today I'm doing a book review. Now this review is going to be spoiler free so don't worry about me ruining any part of the book for you. Feel free to carry on watching. Now the book that I'm going to review today is a book that I've been fortunate enough to read early and I was so excited when I got the book through. I just couldn't wait to start it. And the book I'm going to be reviewing is Armada by Ernest Cline. Now Ernest Cline is the author of Ready Player One and his new book Armada is actually out next week but I was fortunate enough to get my hands on a copy early and I was so happy that I did because this book is just brilliant. Now I loved Ready Player One so I was very excited to jump straight into Armada and that's exactly what I did as soon as it came through the post and it's brilliant, it's such a good book. Now the book is about a guy called Zach Lightman who is at school one day, he's just doing his everyday thing and he sees a spaceship outside of the school window that he recognises from a video game. Now this isn't just any spaceship, it is the spaceship from his favourite video game, Armada. Now he decides that it's just all part of his imagination, he can't be seeing this in real life. Or is he? Now Zach Lightman is one of the best Armada players in the entire world and soon enough his skills might be needed to help save the planet. Now that is all I'm going to tell you about the plot because I can't go into much more without spoiling it for you and I don't want to do that because I want you guys to go and read this book yourself. If you have read Ready Player One you are going to love Armada. It is just brilliant. Ernest Cline's writing style is so distinctive and of course it is full of 80s references and 90s references and it just works. It's just brilliant in how it works. He pulls references from sci-fi films, from sci-fi video games. He pulls references from everywhere and interlinks them with the story and it's so well done. Not only that but Ernest Cline's writing is just so imaginative but like you can just picture everything that happens as he's writing the words. And though the writing style is similar to Ready Player One, the story certainly isn't. Now Ready Player One is very much about a guy who lives in a virtual reality game. Well Armada is about video games and how they interlink with the world and how they could possibly help prepare us for what's coming. Armada definitely has the power to stand on its own. It, again it is just a brilliant book. I also really like the characters in the book. I love what a lot of them stand for. I think a lot of them are very well rounded. There are a couple of characters who I wasn't sure what their point was, why they kind of came into it. Maybe I've missed something there. But overall, really enjoy the characters. I thought they were very well executed. And overall, the book is just great. If you like Ready Player One, you're going to love Armada. Overall, I'm going to give the book four out of five stars. Like I've said, it's definitely worth the read if you'd like Ready Player One. It is so up the same alley but yet takes a different turn. Um, great writing, great story, great characters, just a great book so seriously go and check it out when it's released. And that's it for this review. Let me know if you liked it and if you plan on checking out Armada when it comes out. Also let me know your thoughts on Ready Player One if you've read it and we can discuss that down below in the comments. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys are well and I'll see you sometime this week with another video. Goodbye! End of the video bit, so I hope you guys are well. First out, a shout out to Citizen Sigmund for sending me the proof of Armada. It meant so much and I loved it, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much for getting it to me. It means the world. Yeah, I hope you guys are well. I don't know if you saw, but I was featured on the YouTube's creator Twitter the other day, which was insane, so hello to anyone who's found me through that. Um, that was very sweet of them and I felt very humbled, so thank you very much. Um, but yeah, I hope all you guys are well. I hope you've all had lovely weekends. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you sometime at the end of the week uh, with a new video. So look forward to that. Goodbye.